Uh, again, uh, my chess fans to Chess Cruncher. Um, this is uh, me as Bags playing against uh, Devastator. I'm uh, black and he's white. The move sequence goes uh, C4, C, uh, uh, C5, Knight C3, uh, Knight C6, then he's uh, going G3. He's going to Fianchetto his light squared bishop so that he can castle. I go D6 protection so that my next move will probably be E4. I mean E5, and then I can get my bishops out in the open. He Fianchetto's bishop to hit the bishop to G uh, G2. Uh, I go E5 like I said. He goes Knight F3, getting ready to castle. I go Bishop um, E. Six because uh, I'm going after the C uh, four pawn, and I'm also going to pro. I might push uh, F five maybe, or I might uh, bring my bishop to um, E seven and try to get castled. He goes D uh, D three, and like I said, I go F five, castles. I go Knight F six. Now I have a humongous uh, thrust on the king side. If, it, if I want a castle queen side or a king side, all I've got to do is move my bishop or my queen. He goes e4, trying to um, attack the my f pawn, and I go, why not? So uh, he he plays knight, then I take knight takes, and uh, now he has two two pawns that are uh, yeah they're together. But they're uh, um, they're kind of separated. You see how my uh, structure is? I have a humongous queen side, and he has a, a basically balanced uh, king side and queen side. I have a better position, and he I go knight um, to d4. Yeah, you're wondering. Uh, we're gonna just go back uh, to before I move knight to d4. You're wondering why I didn't play bishop takes. Uh, C4. Uh, I want to take uh, the uh, the opposition, and that is, I want to go and take the center before he can get any pieces there, and so that's why I play uh, D4. He goes uh, D takes, and then I I go C takes D4. Now I have a pass pawn, a protected pass pawn. He goes F4. I go E7, and I don't mind if he trades because. Then I'll take back with my uh, D pawn, and my uh, pawns will be uh, they won't be doubled. They'll uh, it'll be a good. I'll have two uh, pass pawn, uh, not pass pawns, uh, protected pawn anyway. So he really can't do anything about that. He goes F uh, five, trying to knock my bishop out. I I take because uh, if you notice now it's a attacking the rook, and it also benefits my uh, dark squared bishop. I can go to um, G, uh, G5 and, uh, and trade off his bishop and go into a winning endgame with my pieces because I have a, a pass pawn. He doesn't have any pass pawns. I have the D, D4 pawn is, is passed. He goes A4. You're thinking, oh no, uh, the, I'm going to lose my, uh, my bishop. Had this all planned out. Don't worry about it. I play b5 attacking his queen and protecting my bishop everything's operation go he goes queen b4 i don't, I don't mind that i go d5 i'm now ready to attack his uh, back his pawn in the back and if i could take that then he has a weak um, f pawn f5 pawn and i can uh, start the attack on it he goes d2 he has to um, Get some uh, counterplay going, and it's kind of over. So I castle because I'm not afraid of anything anymore. He goes e1. I take, and then he takes. Uh, bishop takes e4. I now am ready to trade off uh, my bishop. He goes b b3. Uh, I uh, bring my uh, dark squared bishop to c5. Um, I'm getting ready because I want to protect, and I also am threatening uh, a discovery. If you notice, if I move my d pawn to d uh, three, it doesn't a discovery on the king um, th through the diagonal. He goes bishop b two.
then I, I take, he takes, I take, now I'm up two pawns. I have a very good position. I uh, I can bring uh, my queen up to f6 and then swing my a rook to um, f8 uh, and I have a triple ba um, battery down on the king. He goes e2, uh, which is that's that was a humongous blunder. I will uh, um, uh, step back for three seconds and uh, allow you to uh, find the move th that basically won the game, but he continued on. So I'll step back now. Exactly. You're smart. D3, discover, check. Um, he intercepts with, uh, with his queen. I play rook takes. Again, I'm threatening another uh, discovery anywhere I move the rook. He goes king to h1. I am now again pinning his uh, not his rook. He walked right into another pin. He goes a to e1, a e1. Yep. I uh, I go come on, bring it on. Cause look at that. If he takes, I can take with the pawn, and his rook is still pinned. Nothing can uh, stop me from now capturing his rook. The game is basically over. He plays on. Though, and that's honorable, but it's to not not avail. He goes, he takes, I take with my pawn. Now my pawn's gonna queen, and it'll be over. He goes e2. I mean, e, uh, uh, king f uh, g2. Sorry, I take. I'm I'm all excited. This game was a really fun game that I I played. He goes uh, king h3. I go bang, e1 queen. He goes B4, trying to throw some pieces out. I go, don't think so. And I will uh, step back for five seconds and allow you, my friends, to enjoy the checkmate that made me really happy and excited. Okay, I'm going to step back now for five seconds. Exactly. You're so smart, and you're, you are really good. You've been listening, and you're learning a whole bunch. Exactly. Queen F1, checkmate. Uh, that, he played okay. He made a couple, a lot of mistakes. He uh, didn't see the discovery with my pawn at uh, D for D2. He uh, also, again, moved his king into another uh, pin. And I took advantage of that. He tried to double up on, if you notice, the rooks. You remember that. Again, I moved my rook in there. I intercepted. He took. There was nothing he could do. And the checkmate was inevitable. Um, I hope you enjoyed the game as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you and playing it. And as always, God bless, and I'll see you next time on Chess Cruncher.